Hello, how are we going? Look at that, we're using some polystyrene. Something different anyways. That's going to look good when it's finished. I reckon it will anyways. But, we've got all the signals in now. I think there's about six lane of them all up around the place. I reckon they work really well. Just Kato, plug and play. They're just really good. They look really good at night time. Flying away. So I actually know when I leave my train set on now. So I can look in here and I see green lights flashing everywhere. Which is quite good. Yeah, they do change pretty quick. But, yeah, it doesn't worry me. So you can see how quick it does change. And it's three seconds after the last carriage goes over. And then it's like two and a half seconds it feels like before it goes back to green. So, yeah, 100%. Yeah, but, oh well. I like them. They look really, really good. So the track's all the way around, double track, all my stuff finally come in, so the straight running. I'm still coming up with ideas. Oh, I've got to yeah, do some shunning and bits and pieces around the place, not till then. Plus I've got my crossover put in place, which I'm happy with that, it works really well. We also have another one over here. So I'll actually be able to park everything up and make some chunking time. Same with over here, we've got the Kato engine chip put in. And another crossover put in as well. The yard is just simple. This comes off number four points, number six on the main line. That thing doesn't have a problem going through points. Everyone whinges about them for some reason. I don't know about the them. Everything goes through it, even the big boy goes through it. So one side's done. I'm just going to do the other side. There's just no points in Western Australia at the moment. So. I'll wait for them to come in. Like the other side, we'll be on the other side. We also got a point here. You can see it ends there, but that runs all the way around. All right around the edge, to the far side. You can see that's going to be for the double stack, because I'm not going to, yeah, I like running that, I run it quite a bit. So I'm not going to take it off and on all the time. When I'm running all my passenger trains and things, yeah, I'll be able to park it up. But for now, I really, really yeah, I enjoy running it. So we'll put another bridge in. If you haven't seen it, we'll put another one in here as well. There's a small stream running through there somewhere. Don't know where yet, but through there somewhere. See from the foam or polystyrene, that's where the tunnel starts. So that'll all be in tunnel. And just set it back in the vacuum cleaner there, so it'll come out of the tunnel. It's all about where that paint, oh, where the loco is now. And then up the top, we go over the bridge, and there'll be another tunnel coming out to where the red bridge is. Just to break it right up. It's all going to be pine trees this time. Um, Hobby Tech's actually got them in at the moment. So, wait till I get paid again and I must have to start buying them before someone else does. But, double stacks love it. It's going up 2% grade. I don't have many drama. Put my two controllers up the top so I can sit. Play trains, 
and I'm not through there. I can see it telling. So you might probably wondering how that's going to work. So this hill here will actually come up over the top of the controls. So they're nice and high. So that's why I can have a tunnel. And I'll have plenty of access to get in there, which will be even better. So other than that, not a lot's happened. We're we'll wired up. So all this side's wired up. So this middle part hasn't been wired up. All that last section of the double state's coming down. That's a job for another couple of weeks down the road. And we'll get all that wired up properly. But we're slowly getting there. Oh, come apart. Why have you done that? Is that nice? So, just through there, that's all the Kato, the Uni train. The train is still 5 mil, 6 mil between each other. No fit down there, no worries. So, I'm happy with that. Just do some street running. And we're going to town. Well, these signals are the best. I reckon they're fantastic. That's the first thing I've ever brought from Kato. I didn't work properly. It's that signal to the left. The green LED doesn't work. Well, the red one works, and the amber, or the yellow, whichever one you want to call it. They're actually really good, so if I stop the train and go in reverse, they all go red, which is pretty cool. I know you can't use them on DCC, but you can convert them apparently. But I'm no whiz when it comes to electronics, so yeah. And DC is easy, I can run three passenger trains on the one line with one controller. It's easy. Well, for me it is anyways. Just sit back and watch them go around. So yeah, that's, I've never ever had a drama with a Kato. You can see the City of LA will come through, Los Angeles. So yeah, it's a bit of a pain, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I've cut the wire, I thought it might have been the plug, so I've changed the plug. And then, um, I've realised that once I plug it in and tried it, it was just a green LED, it doesn't work. Which sucks. But it's at the back, so in a way it doesn't worry me. It does, but yeah. But you're right. But the rest work really well. The lift bridge, you've seen that, that all works fine. So yeah, there we go, that's what's been happening. So I practice more of this foam sculpting, I suppose you call it. Work that out. Might find a better glue. There must be some glue that's actually designed to stick together. So yeah. You can see they're actually pretty bright, you can see the redness going on the coaches there, it's pretty cool. Oh, there you have it. Enjoy.